Greetings, Nimrods. So I may or may not have shown you pictures of this deer stand. That's the old stand and the new stand above. You can see the old one has suffered some storm damage and decided I was going to try using this SRT a method of getting in and out of the tree. And what I'm showing you here is a pretty, uh, pretty neat uh, little bag I got on uh, got from the jungle. Maybe I'll uh, post a link to that in the description. And there's my ascender, my hand ascender. I'm doing this with one hand, so don't expect wonders here. The camera work. And there's my belay device. Normally that goes in a little inside pocket in there, but I need two hands for that. So I'd have to put the phone down. But it's pretty important that you don't drop these on the way out to the stand. So this little bag, which is, a, I guess, it's made for putting ammo clips in. Um, cinches shut and then there's a little slide lock on it so you can slide it shut and uh, zip, there we go and now it doesn't open up and great and there's pockets on the side I've got a press a glute in one of those and a couple uh, and some of the others are some um, carabiners and they've all stayed put so this this is a been a pretty successful uh, purchase wasn't very much it's like 12 bucks or something the other thing i won't go up in the tree without nowadays is my helmet and uh these are not inexpensive but i you know i want to say i paid 60 70 bucks for this and i love it um if i could pronounce the name of it i would but uh it's super light and you don't even know you have it on it you walk around with it you don't even think about it it's really great but i put a uh, big orange hat over it and uh I look like a pumpkin-headed monster out there in the woods. So here I am at the uh, stand, and I'm just getting buckled in. You know, I've got a climbing harness, not a uh, it's not a uh, saddle harness that a lot of guys use. I did not purchase a saddle harness. Um, I may do that in the future, but uh, the reason was basically I'm cheap. I didn't want to spend that kind of money on a harness and all the gear, and then get six feet off the ground and say, nope, not for me. Um, so I figured I'd play it safe and get this climbing harness, which is about 130 bucks, and see how I liked it first. And I'm sure I could use the climbing harness at work for uh, safety. We have harnesses that are made for not falling off roofs that are pretty cheesy and bulky, and this might actually be a benefit for that. Might even be a business write-off. You never know. So um, one other thing I'll say about that harness that I really like is that it is comfortable and it's comfortable when you're walking out to the stand. I can actually get down and maybe lose the helmet um, and the other gear, but not even have to take off that harness to go still hunting. It, it's that uh, comfortable. It doesn't bother me at all when I'm walking. So in fact, if anything, it gives you a little back support. Um, so that I was surprised with. Uh, it, it, it wasn't comfortable when I first got it because you do have to play with it quite a bit to get it fitting right and get used to hanging in it. But once you get it fit right, yeah, I was surprised. I, I, I was actually surprised when I was hunting. I was thinking, why well, walking out the stand, this is going to be uncomfortable. It, it's not. And, uh, and the same thing with the helmet, like I said before. So anyway, right, here we are getting up into the stand. And one thing you'll note that uh, and when I get to the very top, it's a struggle to get into it. This is not an easy tree. You know, now knowing what I know now about this, uh, I would definitely set up in a straight tree. This tree has a quite a lean to it because it was two trees uh, joined at the trunk that make it convenient for building a stand on, but it doesn't make it convenient for uh, SRT technique. Um, so in the future, we're going to be looking at straight trees with a big leaner, you know, leader, uh, you know, about 30 feet up to get your rope over. Uh, there's like one in this shooting lane that I, I could use, but the leader is like, I don't know, 40 feet up. I haven't been able to get a line over it yet. So here's the target part. I'm going to speed up the film a little bit for this because I really have to, uh, I have to let go of the hand ascender uh, and pull on the line. There's another video I have showing, you know, the technique we use for this SRT, but uh, there's another, I have to pull with my left, uh, I'm sorry, my right, no, my left hand, dyslexic, left hand, normally what I'd be pulling with my right hand on the, uh, on the little uh, mad rock uh, belaying device rope that's you know fed through that to pull myself up so it's really a struggle to get that last two feet uh, like i said before i'll i'll next time i set up a stand i'll i'll have a, a leader that i can go up and maybe make the stand a little smaller but uh live and learn 
there is a leader on that tree. If I'd set that stand about five feet lower, it uh, would have worked on the other side of the tree there. And I believe me, I did try tying off to that leader and it just holds you out in space. You're not close, you know, the stand would have to be lower to, to be able to get onto it. You're left there dangling. I spent a lot of time going up and down with the rope in different positions and this is the best we can do with this particular tree, unfortunately. But the view is spectacular. One thing I really like about this technique is that getting the gun and gear up and down. Now I carry a little more gear with me than I normally would because in that bag uh, there's extra rope and extra things. You know, if I had to, if something went wrong and I had to set up some other kind of setup to get out of the tree. Um, and you laugh, but you know, you see these guys going out there with minimal stuff. Um, you know, I I spent a good half an hour hanging in my yard waiting for my kid to notice in the rain. Um, only six feet off the ground, but uh, you learn some things real quick uh, about uh, doing this. And again, this is not something you want to jump into the first week you go hunting. Buy a saddle harness and go out and do it. You you really need to practice and work out the bugs. It looks simple when watching guys do it on YouTube, but uh, there, there's some things you're going to learn the hard way. Um, so you do want to have that extra gear available, whether it's on the ground in that bag or whether I keep the bag in the stand, uh, I have access to it. Um, and then getting the gun up and down that way is much better than carrying it on your back, uh, going up the pegs of the stand the way I used to, or that lower stand. Uh, that lower stand, even being lower, is a little more sketchy getting into, believe it or not, because you're going up pegs and climbing through that bottom of it and trying to not hit the scope on things. So here we go. That was, that was fast, huh? You ever see a pumpkin fall out of the tree? So it's pretty fun to go down, actually. You get to feel like you're a Navy SEAL or something. I know I don't look like a Navy SEAL going down the tree, but I feel like it. So there you go. So we, yeah, we're liking the SRT. We're, we're going to keep going with this. Um, maybe we'll get a saddle harness. I did get one of those sit drag uh, contraptions, and uh, I got it late in the game, so I got to work out the bugs. I see now why guys modify them. And we may modify it this one, or we may not. Um, likely we'll modify it after the season. We're not going to change horses in the middle of the stream. So here I am. I'm, I'm pulling the... Uh, paracord loop up because I'm done for this week. Uh, I'm coming back next week and uh, I'm not going to leave my expensive rope in the tree so I'm going to run my paracord loop up, double it up, tie it off to the tree and then we'll be done. So hopefully you learned something watching this. Uh, you know if you want to see more about this SRT stuff there's lots of videos out there. If you want me, if you have any specific questions certainly ask. I will uh, be happy to answer. And uh, the fun part about this is doing it in the dark when you get out there 5.30 in the morning and you get to get up and watch the sunrise. Um, I was a little apprehensive the first time, but it worked out great. So um, it's always nice to watch the forest come alive. So hopefully you like this video. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you share this video with your social media friends and subscribe. Remember, Nimrod wants you to subscribe. Happy hunting, Nimrods.